Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam Shamil and welcome to the third episode of Get It Right, Sabah and Sarawak Living in the Trees. Please don't be judgmental towards my hairstyle, okay? I'm aware that it's very ugly, but you know what? There is no reason for me to look good because I live in the trees anyway. Today's video is going to be a little bit more specific. There are only six words, six words which best describes this video. Sabah, Sarawak, Tree, House, People, Stupid, Badukang. Wait, that's already seven words. Oh shit. As usual, if you are from Sabah and Sarawak, you will be able to relate to this, ladies and gentlemen. Though some of you may not have experienced this yet, but oh, let me tell you something. Before somebody comes up to you and say, Sabah is jungle, Sarawak is jungle, you better share this video, ladies and gentlemen, tag your friends, and let the bloody world know that Sabah and Sarawak is not just about green and chocolate. Now you know for as long as I could remember for the longest time lama sudah perkara ini menjadi buah mulut orang ramai terutamanya mereka yang merasakan diri mereka itu bijak sehingga mengeluarkan kenyataan-kenyataan yang tak seberapa seperti kami ini orang Sabah dan Sarawak tinggal underneath pokok kelapa oh doi dogo kangku diawitian potuhun iti muhau sempemugunan if you ask these people to spell kambing they'll be like k e m b i n g karabau Yes, it may be true that comparatively we may not be as developed as most of the states in Malaysia, but it does not mean that we are uncivilized. It does not mean that we don't have basic necessities. It does not mean that we are not bertamadun. There is a fine line, ladies and gentlemen, between underdeveloped and uncivilized. So please get it right, can you? Even if you have never been to East Malaysia, it does not give you the reason whatsoever to have that mentality thinking that we Sabahans and Sarawakians are living in the trees. Nanti saya mau taruh saya punya bagasi di mana? Di tepi sungai. Oh, talking about sungai, buli-buli ya, ada orang tanya, do you wash your clothes at the river? Eh, eh, nak tanya ni, kau orang cuci kain kat sungai ke? Guna tangan ni. Eh? Andalah guna batang hidung kau sejak Paulus mana sudah kau hidung saya mau batang gar sudah ini doi and sometimes there is this question popping out from their bloody head eh where did you get such a nice clothes well that's because back in my hometown we also have what you have we don't pakai cawat Okay, and our items are not rejected items. They are not from elsewhere and come here. They are brand new people. Brand new. And to further surprise you, yes, we do have traffic lights in Sabah and Sarawak. And when you have traffic lights, obviously you also have cars. And please. In order for you to travel to Sabah and Sarawak if you're from any parts of the world, it requires you to fly because we also have an airport and it is called the Kota Kinabalu International Airport, the second busiest airport in the whole of Malaysia. Bukan mau guna sampan. Kalau kau guna sampan, bulan jejemba kau sampai. And did I also tell you that back in Sabah and Sarawak, we also have countless of educational institutions. And the number of shopping malls in Sabah and Sarawak are growing more rapidly than your future. Do you know that? Kau pikir kame sik maju kah? Kau ya sombong lalu. Palat ko. So ladies and gentlemen, I really, really hope that I have painted you the right picture on how Sabah and Sarawak actually are. Please, huh? please, like, I don't want to hear any of this anymore. If I hear it again, if somebody comes up to me and asks me, <coughs> Di Sabah ada panggung wayang ka? Kau tau ka apa itu Sephora? Kau tau ka apa itu Captain America? Kamu selalu guna sampan ka? Tiada, tiada, tiada. Nanti kalau saya balik Sabah kan, saya tinggal di hutan sama itu gorila yang kau nampak di National Geography itu. Ah, itulah itu saya tinggal. Tiada, tiada semua itu, tiada. 
But to those of you who knows about this long time ago, thank you very much for not being ignorant. Terima kasih. Koto wadan. Arigato. Dam kishun. Shukran. Kam sahamida. Hai! So we have finally come to the end of our third episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for watching. Jangan lupa share tau ni video. Tell the whole world about this video. And, you know, spread the words. And oh yeah, for my fourth episode of Get It Right, I'd like you to suggest me on what should I be talking about. On what should I be conveying uh, the message to the public about. Yeah, so just leave the comment below. Tell me that what should I be doing and I'll take that into account. Thank you very much. I love you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the fourth episode of Get It Right Malaysians. Bye. Hi everybody, if you love what you have just watched, you can subscribe to my channel by just clicking on this tiny little box. But if you are using your smartphone or if you are using your tablet, then you may not be able to click this box. So what you can do, I'll like just find la any places that you can click the subscribe red button. It's a red color. Okay, have a nice day and goodbye. <laughs>